Welcome back to Microtech Wi-Fi 6 series. Today I will help you choose the best Wi-Fi 6 device for your needs. But before we look at the products, let's do a quick recap. Why should you upgrade to Wi-Fi 6, also known as 802.11ax? Reason number one. Seamless, fast transition roaming will improve your real-time connectivity tremendously. If you have multiple Wi-Fi 6 access points, your devices will switch to the strongest signal without you even noticing. Reason number two. Significantly improved throughput even in the 2.4 GHz band thanks to the 1024 QAM modulation. Reason number three. Less interference, higher efficiency. Just a smoother overall experience, you know. This can be extra meaningful if you're moving around the campus, mall, office, and so on. Also, Wi-Fi 6 ensures that all devices, all clients, share the network fairly without someone chugging the whole traffic. Reason number four, energy efficiency. Features like target wake time reduce power consumption in the long run, better for your wallet and the planet. And don't get me started on battery-powered setups. Wi-Fi 6 can really do wonders there. Reason number five, enhanced security. WPA3 encryption and management frame protection prevent all sorts of attacks, like brute forcing and deauthentication attacks with capturing your WPA2 handshakes. Of course, you have to stay smart and vigilant. The main attack vector is always the user, not the technology. So Wi-Fi 6 can't protect you if you're using password for your password. But you know better than that, don't you? Now let's move on to the exciting part, the hardware. We'll start from the smallest, most affordable devices, but I have some premium routers for you as well. There's something for everyone here. First up, the HAP series. HAP stands for Home Access Point. They don't cost too much, and you can configure them through our super simple smartphone app. In fact, most Mikrotik devices can be configured that way. I strongly recommend you downloading the app. So, HAP series. Level 1. HAP AX Lite. Wi-Fi 6 on the tightest budget possible. The perfect solution when you need to cut costs and you're willing to sacrifice the 5 GHz wireless. Sure, 2.4 GHz is slower, but not every situation needs the maximum speed. You might have limited ISP rates. Maybe you're connecting a lot of legacy devices that only speak 2.4 GHz. We've seen a lot of these babies in hotel chains where giving each room way too much speed just doesn't make sense. With 4 gigabit Ethernet ports, a capable CPU, and the exceptionally compact size, this can also be a great travel buddy. And despite the small size and price, you're still getting all the router OS version 7 features, like VPN tunneling, advanced firewalls, bandwidth shaping, and so on. And we have a version with a built-in LTE 6 modem, for quick and easy mobile internet anywhere, anytime. Level 2. HAP AX squared. Slightly bigger, better cooling, multiple mounting options, an extra gigabit Ethernet port, PoE in and PoE out, and a blazing fast dual band wireless radio. This is your basic one size fits all home router. It has a powerful CPU, a gigabyte of RAM, and it can handle anything a regular household might throw at it. However, there's still room for improvement for the most demanding users. Enter level 3 HAP AX Cubed. It has all the bells and whistles of HAP AX squared and more. An extremely powerful CPU a USB port to connect extra storage or an LTE modem, and, drumroll, a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port. Perfect for connecting your home devices to your NAS media server or simply utilizing a premium ISP connection. Either way, HAPAX Cube is a great choice for real power users. With container apps, this router becomes more than just a router. You can host a Pi Hole ad blocker on it or a simple website for your business. Or connect and automate all your home IoT devices with the Home Assistant app. Now, let's leave our cozy homes for a moment and visit the high-rise office building. The main difference is the layout. Tons of obstacles that can absorb, reflect or scramble the wireless signal. Mirrors, tinted glass, metal file cabinets, so much stuff. What can you do? Use the ceiling. Cap AX remains hidden in plain sight, like a smoke sensor. 2 gigabit Ethernet ports, PoE in and PoE out for easy powering, a super powerful 1.8 GHz quad core CPU, and remember the benefits of Wi Fi 6 roaming, effortless and stable connectivity in crowded places, everything I mentioned previously in the intro. Well, CapAX really takes advantage of all the Wi Fi 6 features. Your clients and colleagues will definitely notice the improved connectivity. All of our Wi Fi 6 devices can be centrally managed with our Caps Man Manager. Not only the CAP-AX, all of them. 
What's neat is that you can run the cap sign on any of the cap AX itself or on one of our Ethernet routers, like the RB5009, which can be your network gateway. With the Capsman, you can set all the Wi-Fi configuration on all devices at once, or separate them in groups if you're running a large and complex network with many SSIDs and so on. Moving on, usually homes and offices have a dedicated ISP cable, but the wired connection is not always possible. Then what? Well, you might call your mobile operator and ask them for one of our Chateau AX devices. There is an LT6 version for speeds up to 300 megabits, an LT18 version for speeds up to 1.2 gigabits, and a 5G version for blasting fast speeds beyond comprehension. What's extra cool here, all the Chateau AX devices have 4 gigabit Ethernet ports and an extra 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, so you'll be able to unleash the full potential of those speedy modems. Finally, there's a very special professional device I want to show you. We've looked at the home and office devices today. Now we're moving to the server room, or a home lab, or some other specific sysadmin project. The compact all-in-one L009 with Wi-Fi. Now, like the Happy X Lite, it only features a 2.4 GHz wireless. Like I said, not every setup needs that extra speed of 5 GHz. One of the key features of the L009 is the scalability and port density. There are 8 gigabit Ethernet ports and an SFP cage with 2.5 gigabit support. And you can really push this device to its limits since the enclosure acts as a massive heatsink. As for Wi-Fi 6, well, don't write off the 2.4 GHz network just yet. If we compare Wi-Fi 6 to the previous generations, you can expect speed increase up to 90% even in the 2.4 GHz spectrum. And it will be more responsive, stable, seamless roaming, better security, you know the drill. If this is your first time choosing a Wi-Fi 6 device, this might be a lot of information to wrap your head around. So for now, let me just remind you that Wi-Fi 6 is not just about the speed. It's about having a better overall experience. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'm here to help you choose the best solution for your specific needs. Thank you for watching and see you online.